New at 11 fire versus ice. This is what's left of a vacant ice house in Whiteville after a fire broke out in the building this afternoon. WCT's Delaney Tarpley went to Whiteville while crews were still clearing up the hot spots. Delaney, firefighters told you they think the fire may have started from the heavy storms that we saw earlier. Daniela, they say it's not uncommon for them to respond to lightning strikes, but most of the time they're just dealing with smoke. They say real fires caused by lightning, like the one they dealt with today, are rare. When crews arrived, they said flames were coming up through the roof, the building collapsing within 10 minutes. After getting the fire contained, they moved on to putting out hot spots. There was so much storage left behind in the building, though, that they had to tear down the walls to reach all of those spots. Fire crews say in the end, the building was ruled a total loss. One captain tells me battling fires in severe weather makes the entire process much more difficult. Well, we were having a downpour at the time of this and then a, and a severe thunderstorm, lightning strikes, but they weren't even touching the fire. In the area I'm standing right here now, we have water. It was coming up above our boots and uh, I mean, it slows you down in the process of doing movement and all. Crews say something that made their job unnecessarily difficult today was that people were not clearing the area. Whiteville Fire Chief Yurgo says if you see fire trucks and hoses in an area, it's always best practice to find an alternate route. Daniela. A great tip right there from the fire chief. Always, always try to get out if there is an emergency and find an alternative route. Delaney, thanks so much.